so happy to have Bill Amidas here with me, the executive director of the North Carolina Food Innovation Lab, and Celia Homiak with me, who is the co-director of UC Berkeley's Alternative Meat Lab, the Alt Meat Lab. Thank you both, Bill and Celia, for being with me. So, Bill, maybe you can tell me, what are you seeing take place in the North Carolina Food Innovation Lab? Yeah, we really haven't seen a slowdown at all in our facility over the past six months. Um, we have seen a shift a little bit from products that are being developed direct to the consumer back towards more B2B type products. So, and all of those, of course, are plant-based products or plant-based things. Ultimately, they go into a variety of things all the way from alternative meats to alternative dairy and even a center of the grocery store. Um, you know, I think the, the slowdown we're seeing right now is um, perhaps the customer has become a little bit fatigued, or become a little bit fatigued with the products that are in the market. Kind of at that S curve now, where we're starting to look for second, third, fourth generation type products that will continue to improve more effort towards these types of products. Celia, what are you seeing in terms of demand for your space and expertise? Yeah, I mean, I can top. Uh, on Bill, I really agree with, with him. I don't really see a slowdown, especially from like the innovation and academic side. If anything, we have more buy-in coming from mm. students and organizations that are reaching out to us to advance it. I think the one thing that I noticed too is it, it's not necessarily a slowdown, but I think there's a clear shift in what's happening um, as to the types of products and the types of ingredients that we're making. Uh, and so I'm not sure if, you know, the future is going to be, you know, the next impossible or beyond but really a different array of products with different types of ingredients that are more diversified um, that are coming out of them. But the interest, especially from, you know, the younger generation and the students is there, um, which is keeping us employed along with young entrepreneurs. So. so let me understand what happens at Berkeley. Is it mostly students yeah. that come through your doors or do you also work with multinationals? Um, both. So we're a self-funded facility. Um, and so we are funded by the state philanthropic funders and also big corporations. Um, so we hire mm -hmm. students to help on research initiatives with these big corporations, such as Nestle, Louis Dreyfus Company, mm -hmm. um, Millie Poor Sigma. Um, but also we teach students here um, combining food technology courses along with entrepreneurial courses, um, which has actually stemmed for them to then become entrepreneurs themselves. And we've had about four startups that have stemmed from our program in the five years that we've been here. Um, so it's kind of a combination of both. 